because if you're going out for a, a club night, if you're with someone and you're going out with your mates, mm. right, is it acceptable to still go to that club with the attitude that it, it's not going to hurt anyone if a bit of flirting goes on? Yes. Yeah. I don't see. I don't see a problem with that. If you're just flirting, if you're married. If you're not t exchanging numbers mm -hmm. and you're not doing anything else, like you're just having a bit of a banter, you know, oh, you're what not going to go off and. It's Paris, just, uh, yeah. I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't. I mean, why tease yourself? Like, why give yourself, you know, the opportunity to think of these things? And Look at the menu. You don't have to order. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> a bit of a boost. I don't even know if I could see myself in a club if I was married. To be honest. Serious? Yeah, honestly, I go out quite a lot. Do you think clubbing is purely for pulling? Well, well I go out to have a good time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't on one hand say, if <laughs> no. I was married, I wouldn't go to a club, and then say, oh no, but a club is not just for pulling. No, no, but my definition of a good time involves not being married. So, if I was to go to a club with my friends right. and to party, and if something was to happen, I don't have to feel like, oh my god, have I messed up? Have I done something wrong? So you can't trust yourself? No, I. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> I do trust myself. It's just like, if you, it's almost like, I'm trying to think of a like, similar reference. Like, if you're on a diet and you go to like, a sweet shop, it's just not nice to, to have that temptation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're trying to stay away from this stuff. You can trust yourself, but just why? The sweets are a sensory can, can experience. Okay. You know, you can, can, you, so yeah, you can, visualize. Th but does a man know? When a woman is flirting with him, are we so kind of base that we don't know how to stop ourselves if a woman flirts with us? I have no idea when a woman flirts with I think sometimes yeah. a caveman <laughs> takes over, doesn't it? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we, we got someone from the lad bible here. <laughs> the lad bible man is saying he's going to be faithful. This is what I'm a bit worried yeah. about. <laughs> is that wrong? What I'm saying is, if you're out of You the might life, get fired by the time you get back to the um, It's just like, sometimes, you know what happens? You get to that, you, you're, in, you're in that environment, and then if nothing serious is going to happen, and you're just flirting, it's okay to flirt and have a bit of a laugh. And sometimes, like I said, the caveman mentality takes over. Oh, man, that's woman. I must speak to woman. I must do my best to chat that woman up as much as possible. But obviously, there'll be a point where you've got to stop because you're a married man, you're in a relationship, and you know, you've got to understand that. But there are men that will actually take it a bit further, and next thing you know, they're in trouble. But mm. then that's down to the individual, isn't it? That's yeah. how people act also sometimes, isn't it? How scary your wife is. Okay, shit. <laughs>